Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use Asana. It's really good if you have multiple clients and you're organizing your personal tasks and your business tasks and you have a lot of different tasks and moving pieces running around. And it's really easy to put them all together and get it all organized. So I learned this from Ariel Hale. She's one of my friends and she's really smart and really good at project management. So if you go over here to my overview, you can see both your workplaces. And you can add a new workplace if you want. And I personally, I like to keep it to just business and personal. So um, let's go to business first. And here is a breakdown of your tasks for today and your upcoming tasks. And you can just simply like hit enter and type out a new task. And what I do is for each new task, I you come over here to this right side and that this basically is a card that gives you more details of that task and you come here and you assign yourself the task you have to do this and you also have to assign yourself a due date so you can see it in the detailed information later so you assign yourself a task and you assign yourself a due date and then you type out the task and you can put a description of the task and here is by projects and I like to name my projects by client so I work with Tony Mac and I'll put that for one of my clients. If it's like insurance, um, I might put another client as that as a different. So you, when you come here, you can see that here are all your projects and who you're doing these tasks for, which client of yours you're doing this task for. Okay, what's also really neat is when you come here to date due, you can set reoccurring you can set reoccurring tasks. Every week I'm going to be working on insurance marketing, right? I come here to due date and I set it on Monday, like every Monday morning, right? So I can come here and I can click set to repeat and you can set it by monthly, weekly, periodically. I like periodically because I like to just do things after I get it done. I like to, I like it reset every seven days and have, it, have me do it again. Or for business tasks, I almost never do daily because that's a lot to look at. Weekly is pretty good. You can set it to, here you can set it to either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I like to set up a lot of my tasks on Monday morning. So I set this to periodically every seven days. Okay, so what's next is your personal projects. If you come here to your workplace and you click personal tasks, my tasks here, you can assign all of your personal tasks. So I have just two workplaces, business and personal again. And in personal, it's just everything I want to do for like my blog or YouTube, personal branding, stuff like that. Maybe like I'm volunteering with nonprofits and stuff. Like if you, if your goal, and you can be setting goals here. Like if you want to be reading a certain amount of pages, right? You know that you know a book is 100, 200 pages. You can say, read. You can come here and say, read 10 pages. You know this is a task, and you can come here to set your reoccurring task to happen. And I learned this from Ariel. She likes to set weekly instead of daily, just so she can click. If you want to set daily, you can set daily, but this gives you more control. It's easier for you to click every day of the week. Also, you can free up your time on Saturdays and Sundays and not have to, you know, see that task there on Saturdays and Sundays. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, Fri Thursdays and Fridays, you'll be reading Give and Take. It's a good book. So what I like to do is every day when I get up, I like to come into Sana and pull up my business tasks, business first. I like to come to Asana and set everything that's due, set due dates for them, and just work on my business tasks first. And if I have stuff that I want to work on, I just add, or stuff I know I need to get done that day, I just add a new task here and assign it to the, to the person, to the client that I'm doing it for, and just knock out all of my business tasks for that day. And it's really cool. Just, you know, Asana also has this thing where it tracks, kind of tracks your completion. So as you mark complete, you know, you get a little bit of info on how you're completing things. Then after that, I'll probably come to my personal tasks. And a lot of my personal tasks I work on are just habits and other things. So there's a lot of reoccurring things in my personal tasks. And I'll probably do that later on in the day, maybe in the afternoon after I get all of my business tasks done. And yeah, that's how I set up 
Asana, and that's how you can use Asana for just managing your entire entire. So that's how I use Asana, and if you're a project manager or a freelancer, Asana is really good to just keep track of everything you have to do and look at the start of your day to get everything done.